Hello everybody, welcome to the Chalice Round of 16 Season 4. We have got Mr. Page with Pink Orcs versus uh, <laughs> Albertron with Purple Orcs. <laughs> oh god. So that is obviously a nightmare. We can't have these colours. Um, so we've got red and blue. And uh, they're both 1600 TV, well 1595, so both at the very limit of the... Uh, TV cap, and they've both got pretty amazing teams. A couple of AV ups for Mr. Page. Love to see it. The uh, the Jim Meta uh, translating as as obviously eventually people would keep up. The Jimmy eventually people would catch up to what Jimmy Fantastic said in 2020, and now lots of people are taking plus AV because it's great. And then we've got a blocker here with defensive, very good, and a blocker there with defensive, and. Uh, AV up on these guys as well. Wonderful. Ah, oh, like a proud dad. Look at this, everybody. Everybody playing properly. Um, so yeah, interesting. Two, two big orc teams. And they're going to smash into each other and see who wins. <laughs> Amazing. Albachon, of course, uh, did very well in one of the seasons or the preseason. No, I think it was the season one or the second preseason. Was it the second preseason where he made a ridiculous Black Oak team with like eight legends? <laughs> the troll and all six uh, Black Oaks were legends, and like he even had like, he had one or two legend goblins as well. Pretty incredible. But now with the cap, those fun times are over. And now it's just min-maxed. Many randoms rolled. You know, strength randoms, first skill. Till you get guard, stand firm. Or mighty blow. And uh, that's it. Only a two assist foul. The uh, guard nerf actually quite significant isn't it uh, these kind of scrums would result in gigantic gang fouls with zero loss in positioning whereas now it's not not easy to set up oh Albachon with a greed I mean now's the time to do it right half one half one yeah it is half one <laughs> it's thinking it's not half one it's half eight um, in the first half of course any cas you do it's like impact is multiplied and also he's receiving there's maybe overtime so by you know using the greed rerolls in the first half he can conserve rerolls like he has to reuse he has to, both sides have to conserve rerolls in the second half because they could be facing overtime nothing to do with the now defunct kick equity it's just literally you know you want to keep your uh, you want to keep your rerolls oh my god that was terrible wasn't it you should not have rolled triple down bad rolls and no defensive assist from the guard there I think it's definitely worth just doing the foul there wasn't it I think that was the right play from Mr. Page not really trying to get in the way of the score. He's got a lot more skills than Albachon, hasn't he? He's teams wise, I think this is the right play from Mr. Page. Honestly, don't really bother about the ball. You just beat him up. Albachon needs to like have a bit of a like a, an outlet, right? I don't like him being too jammed in like this. I'd like to see a few more players here. To make it a bit harder to uh, like jam in front. Because he could get shut down here. Probably random, isn't it? Oh god, this is terrible play. 
<laughs> oh, this is terrible. It's actually terrible from Mr. Page there. Like, you've got the advantage in teams. Albachon has made himself really narrow, really compact. And yeah, you're just going to put four players out of the play to do a random foul and a guy who's so far away from the play is ridiculous. Like, this guy could have actually just reached this guy and fouled him. So all the players could have been in good squares. He gets the removal from it, but... Ugh, yuck. Yuck, do I not like that. But yeah, he really could have got round in front, but never mind. So, Albachon let off the hook a little bit because he did invite that. Kind of dry stopping play, but instead Mr. Page chose to make a foul. Clever chain push here. <laughs> there might have been, but um, the problem is there's a lot of stand firm as well, isn't there? So might not be. Boy, it would have been nice to have another four players interfering with the ball, wouldn't it? Instead of just uh, <laughs> having to run back to try and do something. I mean, you're still going to, if you like, force the early score. But it's more that uh, Albachon forced the score himself, didn't he? By uh, just being outclassed in terms of team. By This is annoying, isn't it? This fucking rat running around. I've never noticed this stadium before, but these fucking rats running around. Pretty fucking annoying. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess Albertron like thought you know you can't fight him, you can't beat him with a normal drive. You should get another turn of stall here, I guess. <laughs> Baby scale <scaling>, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to score yet. It's one more turn of Maybe he doesn't get one more turn. That's not. I guess chances are there's not going to be a clever chain, but there might have been. Once again, these four players are just like... I mean, now you definitely foul, right? Because you've got a massive gang foul on, on the defensive guy. So if you would have, if you would have fouled earlier, you've got to foul now. Probably got another turn of stall, hasn't he, as well here? Yeah. Incredible really by Mr. Page to allow this stall. One D push. Yeah. Oh you let you get your blitz so yeah. <laughs> Not what I would have done. <laughs> Who can say? If it's good or bad. I mean, it took a 1D push, didn't it, to get, so... But yeah, it wasn't... It wasn't great. There's a 1D. Try the 5 plus. With jugs, yeah. And he goes in anyway, so... How many turns are left? Don't really know what turn it is, unfortunately. Hard to tell in the game now. Who's who? Uh, Albachon is red, Mr. Page is blue. Yep. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Dimmy's OP, knobs are OP. You know, if you have those two together, it might be like, you know, it might cause a catastrophe. So turn six, so he's got three turns to score, Mr. Page. He doesn't have a, uh... oh god, he's got a throw with a jump. <laughs> so it's not really going to be an easy score, is it? Gets a removal though. Big removal. That's mostly what matters. Very strange decision to expose his uh, defensive player rather than his rubbish thrower. I know the rubbish thrower is armor 8, but still, I'd rather expose an armor 9 plus player than my best player. Another removal. Wow. Some uh, some good rolls for Mr. Page here. Like his team's got, you know, got more of everything, right? More guard, more stand firm, more mighty blow. Um, I guess Mr. Page played a million games to try and random get loads of randoms and stuff. Very TV efficient. Of course, that's exacerbated by having the cap. If you didn't have a cap, and people wouldn't be as crazy about min maxing, right? Because they'd get value out of just having TV, having more skills than their opponent, like buy and just paying normal TV for it. But once you've capped at 1600, then you've got to squeeze as much as you can out of that 1600 by having loads of randoms. Now, will Cyanide be smart enough to work out that's why it happened? Probably not. And they probably go, ha, ah, people didn't like this. Let's make randoms cost full again. Oh no, Mr. Page doesn't care about the ball, does he? He'll just do a random foul before thinking about the ball. <laughs> oh, does a hand up. He does a jump! And a potato! Oh yes! What a glorious day! Incredible. Doesn't make the dodge for the. Oh, he hasn't got any rerolls. Oh dear. But the jugs gets two pushes. Is he out of range? He's not. He's just in range. Obviously, three dice here. At least Mr. Page maxes 3Ds. Oh, he just do a random 2D here first. And another random 2D. Really should be probably 3D in this lad that you need to power, by the way. Oh my god, he did it with frenzy. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? Looked good though, didn't it? It looked that he was good that he was doing it with three dice. And then... Just no... But now he's got eight turns, so with a much better team, with more players. So he should easily, easily get the uh, turn 16 score. And then, uh, yeah, I know he was going for the surf, but I mean, it was still, still terrible, isn't it? Let's be honest.
Let's be honest. <laughs> that was not. That was not good. It was not good. But it's not going to matter, is it? He's going to get two overtime. Almost certainly. I guess you never know, right? He's got to conserve rerolls. Well, he's only got one. Oh god. So this is kind of starting to explain the skill disparity. Albachon has four rerolls. Mr. Page has one. Apple works. Sneaky git finally gets caught. But he's done his job, hasn't he? I guess he's only got 11 players as well. Yeah, he's only got 11 players as well, Mr. Page. So yeah, very, uh... Oh, he spun one, okay, so, he, so he's got one reroll plus leader, Mr. Page. And Albatron has three plus leader. Um, but also Albatron has reserve, at least one reserve, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No! Two? Five, six, seven. No, Albertron doesn't have reserves either. Oh my god. <laughs> the min max nightmares. <laughs> pow, 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 pow. This, uh, this drive certainly looks over. But you know, you still got to uh, maximize. Still got to maximise removals here, haven't you? Um, like three dice with Mighty Blow. Frenzy's pretty good. And you've got to try and stop him. Oh my god. And you've got to try and stop him fighting back as much as you can as well. So, like, there is a bit of gameplay to it. But mostly. Oh god, this is a terrible foul. <laughs> <laughs> did he did he not know that uh it was no longer a sneaky get dirty player? Like it was eleven plus armor? I don't know. I just don't think you need to foul when you're this many players up. You haven't got sneaky get a dirty player. Just like, what, what threat is this guy? He can't hit anybody, right? He can't hit anyone. Like, he's literally carrying the corner. You've got him guard locked. You don't have to deal with him anymore. He's hunting down the last two. <laughs> oh, wow, this is going to be very tenuous, isn't it? It's going to be funny if something happens. Blockless block. Could have based the ball there if that had been uh, dub skulls. Or both, both down, right? He couldn't re-roll the ball down with uh, one re-roll. So, like... Things can really go wrong for Mr. Page here still with one re-roll. Lie down and wait for the one turn. Yeah, don't don't do GFIs. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Yes, a tactical masterclass. I mean this was just a more this was a more strategical game of Blood Bowl, wasn't it? In terms of the strategy being how to level your players and build your team, one reward, etc. Eleven players. Go for maximum power, minimum reliability. Um, the tactics haven't been the best, but the strategy has uh, certainly paid off. Bollocks. 
feel like if Albichon was like, you know, dodged there, he could have, like... <laughs> could have tried something right in the next turns. The fact that the ball is here, I'm, like, a bit scared. He got his player down. If he had his blitzer down here, it's another thing that could have given him half a chance. Like the fact that the fact that Mr. Page, if he dub skulls on this blitz, he basically has to re-roll it right. Like that's the thing, especially if there's another player here. And then he's got no re-rolls for overtime. And if your KOs come back, you've got half a chance. Like all of this just could not be happening, right? If this, if this guy was down here, where he could have been. And it probably would have been happening if this guy was here. So we've got two dice on the ball, an easy two dice on the ball this turn. Well done, Mr. Page. Round of applause. Like, like how on earth? What, what is he doing? What are you doing, Albichon? <laughs> One, two, three, four, like, literally, this guy was here. Get your assist and then two dice the ball. Don't just try and one dice so you're not going to power him. I've never, I've never, ever, ever, you know, one dice has, has never worked ever in the history of mankind. But he's, he's got nothing to pick it up with anyway, right? He's only got biggins here. He's managed to get all of his blitzers away from the ball. He only has biggins near the ball. You don't need to punt it. You just need to get the ball down on the ground. That was crazy. From both parties there. Hate trying the 1D. Hate it. Obviously, you got unlucky to fail the dodge and that, but still, like, it's, it's you've got to do two GFIs. Then you're basing the ball anyway. Like, there's another thing that can go wrong for him. Should have, should have dodged off him as well last turn. Imagine how even better it looks if he dodged. But now it's uh, now it really is over. Now it is secured, isn't it? <laughs> what a game. Well, this was a, this was a fun one to do before uh, Diamond and Striders live very soon. Don't know if you want to join us in the booth, Dimmy. Clash of the Titans. Great foul. <laughs> the quick snap. I don't think we'll see a one turn. With three players out, and only two players actually men up. <laughs> Albertson's <laughs> Albert <Chance> men up. <laughs> Obviously, still down in quality, but players up. That's crazy. I've got nothing against Mr. Page, by the way, but um, you should really have 10 players. Like, just stop fouling once you sneaky get to it, where it's gone, you've got a huge advantage. That's what I would have done. And you know, defend the ball at all. 
when you've got a massive advantage. And he's won the toss, but he's a man down, so it could be interesting. It could be super interesting. Whoa, hello, Gimra. How are hello, you today, Dimmy? Hey? How are you today, Dimmy? I'm alright, mate. Just finished work. Happy days. Way! 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 200 IQ. <laughs> wow. 200 I don't think anyone's ever been 200 IQ in history, have they? Probably. Probably. Probably not. I mean, I guess maybe, maybe people have got 200 on IQ score tests because they got better at doing IQ tests. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, it's true, isn't it? Like, all it really... All it all it measures is how good you are at taking IQ tests. So, mm. if you had like an actual IQ of 160, but like practice doing IQ tests, you'd like get up to 170 or whatever, just because you'd get. There's probably there's tests. probably AIs with IQs of over 200. Well, probably two million. <laughs> yeah. Let's get everything right automatically, innit? Because they're clever. They're just the dumb subspecies now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not actually a rumor to Boomer. I can actually <laughs> confirm. I can actually confirm that is the case. Yep. Jimmy didn't want uh, Nobs winning BBSL, so he didn't invite the champ. Exactly. Could you imagine? Could you imagine the shame of losing to Nobs? I'm going to be gutted if I lose to Chunt. <laughs> Oh, you've already lost, mate. You've already lost. Like it's already like when you're saying if, you, you just, that's it. You, you're psychologically gone. <laughs> not enough. Not not enough confidence, Jimmy. I'm psychologically gone. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the, you know the square offs for the fights, like the boxing and the yeah. UFC. It's like you've you've lost the stare down, and that's oh. it. That's, that's, you, you're already beaten. It's like Chunt has been in the sauna for like ten hours. <laughs> Mental victory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's exactly like that. Chunter's still in there now. <laughs> Pour in more hot water on or whatever it is you do. <laughs> oh dear. Pow, 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 pow. Quite a few pals he's had, hasn't he? Yeah, fully rolls. Mm, power apple from Albichon, though, to keep it. Uh, no, it wait, no. I thought he got a kill, but he mustn't have done. That's just been a stun. Oh, I was a power up from Mr. Page. Last turn, this guy got killed, but he power up it. Makes sense, because Albertron up a serious injury. And it worked. That makes sense. What are we watching? What are we watching? <laughs> Nine versus it? eight. It's crazy. Like He's still in this, Albertron. It's great when your opponent removes all their players for you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. I don't, I don't agree with the extra fouls. Like, obviously, foul with your sneaky get dirty player till he's sent off. But after that, it seems. Uh... Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> A 1D block! And pushes him out to make it easier for him to hit the ball. Oh my god, he's just instant hit on the What are you doing? Nah. One, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Come on, man. Come feel, on, man. I feel like you've got to go for the ball here. Because like, you can't do any funky plays, like you can't do any funky chains, can you? That's the that's the problem. Like, Albertron's a big fan of one Ds. Like he obviously rolls a lot of one D powers. Yeah, oh yeah, he's just doing the one D. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, he did it. He did it in the previously a couple of times ago. Yeah. I mean, the, the guy must just be a power machine. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, why make it two? <laughs> why make it two? Oh god, when does this one D hit? That, like I just hate that. I just hate. Come for a 1D there, just make it two. But I can't make this a 3D, I'll just do a 1D. <laughs> 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 oh, here we go. 
looks like it, it looks like like the danger of going for the sack like like I wanted to is that you know you've got players behind the ball so I guess the good thing about going for the 1D is you've only got one player behind the ball but the thing is the 1D probably isn't going to work either is it so great knowledge Jim yeah thanks we can do some really good basing here you've got to go for the cage you've got to attack the cage this time oof and that's the one square. It's got to roll better. Oh, it's got to roll oh. better. And if he powered and freed up two big ones, like with the first hit, but now. He could have freed, he could have freed two big ones, couldn't he, with that block? Would have been huge having these guys. Yes. Yes. Instead, oh. he's dodged and dug skulls. <laughs> Sounded so defeated. <laughs> yeah, and now it looks pretty safe, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Got the stun as well. Oh, he's just giving him the instant. The instant, apart from the instant, uh, <laughs> apart from the dodge. <laughs> oh, it's not even a dodge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just cleared him, so he had to make this dodge. Oh my goodness. One, two, yeah, if he powers both of these, or oh, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. Wow. Stand firm, this OP. It's pretty good. Almost as good as Fend. No, oh, nothing's as good as Fend, is it? No, Fend is the best skill in the game. Oh. oh! There you have it. Oof. Oof. What a what a game! That was fun, wasn't it? it was yeah. A fun watch. Albachon's obsession with, with only making one dice blocks on the ball. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why he just wanted to make one dice, man. But yeah, I mean, it was tougher, wasn't it? Uh, Mr. Page's team uh, was a lot better. Yeah. Like so many more skills, but of course, like Albertron chose to make a real team with like multiple rerolls. What a noob! <laughs> Just go one reroll plus leader, like Mr. Page. That was obviously better, wasn't it? And, it was. And play a million games, so you get you know millions of doubles and uh, you know what's randoms. Randoms. Yeah. So on the strategical layer, this was a. Easy win from Mr. Page. Mm. Run. <laughs> mm. Just a bit of Yoda. Surprising, you out of blitz, wouldn't you have blitzed and then based the ball? Uh, One, two, three, four, five, chip. Oh, you could have just blitzed him and based the ball. And that's something that could have I'm starting to question whether he even wants to play this game anymore. No, I don't think he does, no. No, I think he's completely checked out. Yeah. I mean, this, this game probably took seven hours. That's a very good point, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better watching it like this. <laughs> yeah, it probably went on for days and he was like, I just don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a very good point. Yeah, psychological warfare won by Mr. Page. <laughs> um. Arbitron brain broken by three hours of blood ball.
I, I just don't find these particular matchups pretty fun. Like, I no. just think yeah, they're just mega TV. It's where the world's armor breaks, right? It's just. Well, I mean, that's that's clearly not true by watching this game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's. It just seems. Like, well, like, it's an arms race, and there's, like, the the capacity for damage increases, but there's, like, no defensive skills, is there? Like, blocks kind of is, and AV kind of is. But realistically, like you get, you know, you get more guard and mighty blow and stuff, and and just like you get, you keep adding to the, like, you know, damage you can do, but don't really add to how much, like, you know, the damage you can yeah. take. So it just like ends up very, uh, very much, yeah. I don't know. It's, like it, low, low, low games are really dice rolly as well because you know the the teams don't have the skills to mitigate bad. Thing, bad dice or um, games would swing at any TV really with Blood Bowl but um, I guess that's the thing with this the damage the damage capacity goes up but not the uh, damage prevention anyway there you go well done Mr. Page um, well done yeah congrats to him congratulations to Albachon thank you very much Dimmy for joining me for this glorious cast briefly and uh, thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic